services. The one that you'll be watching today is from the Witch's Box and I hope you like it and um, if you do decide to subscribe to their um, to their service, I will link everything in the description. All right, thanks guys. Okay, so this is gonna be my first unboxing. I'm gonna try and do it. Um, this is from the Witch's Box. Uh, what a beautiful sticker and I love that it says magic awaits so this is how it comes it's ver my very first subscription box I'm really excited I'm trying to do this one-handed so I apologize but I don't have a big enough Ooh, I love the paper and the sticker. <laughs> Trying not to ruin it. Ooh! I so far love this. So it looks like you get a tarot card. What does that say? I'm not really sure which way it goes. I think I could go either way, but obviously. Wow. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So it looks like this box is going to be about uh, divination, which I'm really excited about. Okay, what? Ooh, it's an incense blend. I love that it's got the labeling, how it says, which is apothecary. Like, it comes in this adorable tin. I love that. Jar? What? Ooh, calendula petals. Oh, okay. Okay, I wanted to get my reaction to smelling it. I love that this is like a real glass jar. Ooh. It's very earthy, but sweet, but spicy. It almost reminds me of thyme. Or like paprika. Like if you really like sniff the inside of a paprika jar. Mmm. Oh, I love this. Like, oops. I 
am so shook right now. Like, this is my very first unboxing. But like, are you kidding me right now? Like, the... I love the labeling. I absolutely love the labeling. Oh, that smells delicious. It's very woodsy. It looks like there's, real quick, where's my page? Okay, so here's a little bit about the witch's box, um, divining box. Divining is ultimate about holding up the sacred mirror. Either you become the sacred mirror by reading the palm or cards or tea leaves or energy of someone or you consult the sacred mirror for yourself in the form of an actual mirror or a deck of cards or pendulum or runes. This box comes with three methods of divining. Okay, next. Here is a little bag. Let's start there, right? Even though I opened the jars. Okay, so these are the runes. The witch's runes. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? They're little wood. Okay, so the witch's runes, it does say about this, beautifully accessible and easy to understand divination system that can serve as a potent mirror to shine a light on both inner wisdom that you might be having a hard time accessing and a way to eliminate the path ahead given the dynamic at play in your present life. I love that. I'm really excited. Ooh, what is this? O-M-G, look at this chalice. So, the hydromancy scrying with a chalice, powerful method that tends to be used by those that have been divining and scrying for a while. This method can tap deeply into issues for yourself, others, and general archetypal energies at play on a larger playing field. Scrying with water is ancient practice that it's like tapping into the original telephone wire. Ooh, I, I, this has some weight to it. Like, like it is really beautiful and it's large. I love that it gives you, sorry, I'm totally like rambling. I love that it gives you um, so many pages for your book of shadows. Sorry, this is totally not a flattering angle whatsoever. Okay, this is pretty neat. How cute. And, oh my god, this is... Oh my goodness. Okay, this is so cute. I am so gonna leave this out. <gasps> what? So it has like little feet on it so it can lay on your altar or table that you're using it on. Oh my gosh. I love this. I like, what? I love it. This is adorable. And it's, again, it's heavy. Like in this box, you get a ton of really large items. I'm gonna um, take a picture now that I've got everything open. And um, that way I can add it into the video and then you can see like how much you get in this box. This is quite a lot. I'm really excited. <gasps> okay, that's it. Thanks guys.